Hello and welcome to EA's art channel. My name is Elkin Wiersma and today I'm going to talk about this uh, little painting I did. And maybe you saw my last two tutorials, I uh, was working on two very big paintings. So this is uh, kind of fun because it's, uh, as you can see, it's a kind of very small canvas. I just uh, needed to do, uh, oh, sorry, for, sorry for the glare, uh, something uh, a bit different and uh, a little bit smaller because uh, painting uh, on those large uh, canvases uh, can be quite a, a challenge. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do something uh, different this time. It's uh, obviously a, a sea otter. I hope you can uh, see that. <laughs> and this one uh, took me uh, a, uh, not so long. Uh, uh, a lot of times uh, people ask me how much um, time it took to uh, finish a painting or a drawing. To be honest, I never remember. I just, no, I, I can tell by the footage that I'm... Uh, that I'm having on my computer of a specific uh, art piece that I know it took quite some long time because I have more footage obviously and I noticed that uh, when I'm painting portraits um, which I already knew but those take quite a lot of uh, uh, more time for me um, because I think they are a little difficulty, uh, more difficulty than, than the animals in general for me and uh, also, uh, yeah, there's a lot of details, and details uh, who had to be uh, quite spot on, so therefore I'm taking my time uh, with the portraits. Um, and obviously the last two paintings of my Friesian horses uh, took quite a long time. I had a lot of footage. <laughs> uh, uh, I filmed uh, quite a lot of uh, different, um, different uh, stages, of course, through the hell painting, and I had a lot of uh, hours of, uh, of painting. So uh, yeah, th those took quite a long time. But this one took me about uh, two hours and forty-five minutes, and I could uh, could um, yeah see that because of the footage. And there's a time frame of a every uh, painting session that I did, so it wasn't uh, uh, um, very much. So I could uh, yeah uh, see how how much in 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 uh, yes from, uh, starting from the start to the uh, to the end of the piece, uh, how long it took me time wise. So that's it and done. This is only an acrylic. I don't I didn't use the airbrush. I would uh, uh, I thought it would be nice to try those uh, water wrinkles uh, painting in with acrylics. Normally I like to use a little bit of airbrush just to smoothen it out and make it a little bit easier for myself. But I thought I uh, yeah gonna show a little bit more of my uh, um, texture from the brush and uh, just to see how that works. And for this painting it, uh, it, it works if you ask me, so therefore I'm uh, really happy uh, how it came out. So you can do it without an airbrush, but uh, in most cases an airbrush is really, really handy. Um, so therefore, but yes, that's it and done. Here's the tutorial and I will see you afterwards. I really like the, the different blue colors in this painting, so therefore I uh, so, yeah, I use quite a lot of different blues and I'm hyping up those blues a little bit. There was quite a lot of uh, contrast in the picture already, but I thought it would be nice to uh, yeah hype up that contrast uh, like I said. So that uh, will you see me do uh, later on. And um, if you are interested, this uh, picture comes from uh, Pixabay, so you can find it there if you would uh, like to see it. Or uh, maybe you want to try to paint to draw it yourself. So uh, therefore, uh, you can find it on, uh, on Pixabay. And like I said in the intro, I'm uh, not super uh, smooth on my uh, brushes, brush strokes. Um, I just like to have a little bit more texture for this one, just to see how it works, and also uh, try not to use the airbrush for for a change. Just a little bit difference there, and uh, yeah, it 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 yeah, it kind of uh, does show up in the end. Uh, uh, a bit smoother because I'm going to uh, glaze off a layer over it, but um, it is not as smooth as in, a, in the, uh, with the airbrush. And also, I uh, like the brush strokes for this one. Sometimes um, it's just it is a feeling. Sometimes I uh, found it quite suitable to leave some brush strokes there, but um, sometimes I found it uh, be nicer to uh, have it a little bit smoother. So therefore, uh, just uh, it depends on on what I'm painting. But for this one, I uh, like I said, I use quite a lot of different uh, layers. I personally like the effect of layers. Um, the light is uh, bent, uh, yeah, uh, bouncing through those uh, those layers, and you will uh, have qu get quite a nice effect uh, in the end. But first, it is uh, like in this stage, it doesn't look uh, very nice to look at. So you just have to build up and trust yourself and just work. Uh, basically, uh, just 
as, uh, as long as you like it. So therefore I keep coming back at areas, building up my details. Sometimes I don't like them, so I'm painting over them again. And that's how I slowly build up the uh, the water. And what I do uh, here in this stage is really what's carefully uh, my references, uh, in, uh, especially in which direction the, the um, yeah, the shine on the water goes and, and the, 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 yeah, the, the, how the water moves basically in which, which uh, direction. And I like to start with uh, with the darker portions uh, for this one. To uh, it's it's easier for me to uh, um, yeah give ha have an indication of how light my uh, lightest portion should go. So therefore, I start as dark as I can, m um, basically, and uh, with those uh, shadow areas, and then building up. I also like to fill in my main subject with a, a mid-tone gray. Um, that's also helping with, uh, you can see still see the darker tones very well and also the lighter tones. So therefore I like to start out with that mid-tone gray and then uh, draw my drawing back onto canvas and uh, go further from there. And also here I'm painting in uh, details, glazing over a lot. So I'm making some brush strokes, indications of fur for example, and then I'm glazing over and smoothing them a little bit out, but not too much. I want those brush of the yeah those brush strokes there because the, those give the indication of fur and his fur was uh, was wet and it's um, yeah, a little bit rougher so therefore it's uh, the brush strokes are very helpful for that to give that uh, feeling of a little bit uh, stronger and not that soft fur but a little bit uh, yeah like a stronger uh, rougher fur. And I don't know what it is, but I, I really like sea otters. They are looking so uh, joyful, so playful, and so happy. So I thought this is a, a nice little practice, uh, a little study for in between uh, my next painting. And uh, like I also said in the intro, I did uh, my two Frisian horses. So this was a quite a nice change. And it didn't took me that long to finish this painting. And also I tend to do these kind of uh, little uh, paintings in between uh, our little drawings, but most of the times little paintings, if I have uh, some paint left over on the uh, the palette, I sometimes think what, what kind of colors do I have and is there something uh, to make out because I don't like to waste paint, but yeah, sometimes it is what it is and uh, I have some leftovers I, I cannot use, but I try to use as much paint as I can. And sometimes it inspired my palette, my leftovers inspire me to uh, do a little uh, fun drawing or painting, I should say, in between. And I had this canvas uh, laying around, it's a uh, watercolor canvas, and I just wanted to try if I liked it for my acrylics. To be honest, um, I don't like it um, more as my canvases, so therefore I uh, wouldn't buy it to paint on, but uh, yeah, I had to lay it around and. Um, I think it's uh, sometimes it's nice to, to try uh, like like a uh, quite often say is uh, to try new things and uh, like I said I had this one laying around so therefore I did give it a go but um, it it's, it doesn't paint as nice as my uh, usual canvases those are a little bit smoother and uh, yeah work a, just a little bit uh, finer you can see the texture of the fur it's quite rough. But it's nice and it gives the indication of that fur, it's going in, a, in the right direction and the, it's uh, of the light, uh, right uh, length and that's very important. Some highlights here and there to give uh, a little bit extra power into the painting. I like this stage uh, the most of the painting, just to building up those highlights in the end. Really taking my time for those last details. And this is basically it. And like I said, it's very blue. I personally liked it blue. I thought it would be uh, very popping and a little bit different than usual. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but others and sea artists, they are always looking for me so, so playful, so joyful. So therefore, I, it, it was really fun making this project. Um, they are so, just so happy and I I, uh, I think they are happy, but uh, <laughs> they, they are, um, yeah, just nice to, to work on, to, to look in those beautiful little eyes, so therefore it was a really fun project. And of course that, that really helps if you do make stuff that you really like, and especially in the beginning, if you're starting to learn art, I think it's, it's very helpful to use, or to try to make um, art um, or work on stuff that you really like. Um, yeah, that's it and done. I'm going to show you a little bit of the, the, the textures that I uh, talked about in the intro. Uh, sorry for the glare. I hope you can see it. It's a little bit rougher than I usually paint. Not incredibly rough. But it suited this uh, this painting because um, 
uh, I have to go this way, I'm sorry, because uh, there's uh, water and his uh, fur is wet of course, so therefore I uh, left clumps of fur and I had a few um, individual hairs on the side of the, of the other and let me see uh, yeah probably a few around this area just to to make it a little bit more realistic and uh, of course the whiskers so um, and some yeah eyebrows i don't know they they're going uh yeah in the eyebrows sometimes they have from those long hairs i painted these uh, those hairs in as well and that are uh, individually hairs and the rest is more clumps of fur and as usual, I hope you liked this tutorial. Please let me know in the comment section below or if you have any, a question or something. And of course, if you uh, not already have subscribed to my channel, I would really love that you would uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me and um, I also really like making this tutorial. So I hope you can enjoy them and I also hope you, uh, you learn something, uh, something from them. That's it and done. Uh, once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at my next tutorial. Bye bye!